Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. It's The In Show, Australia's only show dedicated to innovation from Adelaide, Australia and across the globe. It's David Grice and Troy Sincock. This show is all about inspiration, innovators, entrepreneurs, startups, people with great ideas and we find them all around the world, David. We sure do. And, uh, you know, having just come back from South by Southwest, seeing all of the stuff that's going on over there and then just sort of having a look at how we kind of benchmark in Australia against what I'm seeing, you know, in other, in other countries... You know, I think we're doing pretty well, and and some of these ideas that uh, that you're seeing, you know, when you when you share with people overseas what has been created here, they are like, wow, mm. you know, I can't believe this sort of stuff is happening. And are you seeing that there are particular countries focused in certain areas, or is it just a kind of like a like there's all sorts of stuff happening everywhere? Oh, look, I look, I I really think that there's just so much stuff going on everywhere. Um, I haven't really been able to see it narrowed down to any particular region doing particular things, I don't think. But even if you break down what's going on here in Australia, you know, Adelaide's got aerospace and biotechnology and, and, you know, they're seeming to be some of the most significant innovations that are going on. But, you know, you go to Sydney and, and, and Melbourne even, you know, those guys are looking at technology in different ways than we are, you know, and, and then there's a lot of companies that are cross, you know, crossing over all of this stuff. So, I mean, I don't think you can particularly put it on one particular region or location, but uh, there's just so much great stuff going on. Yeah, there certainly is. Let's find out more about what's happening globally. Claire's got more in news, including a story about how smart cities are about to harness the power of AI technology to improve security. What have you got for us, Claire? Guys, this week I'll be talking about why our knuckles crack, but first... A project called Rainforest Connection has teamed with schools and Google to save the world's jungles. Rainforest Connection is using machine learning technology to detect loggers and poachers in Sumatra, Cameroon and the Amazon. But of course, these areas are huge and they're extremely hard to monitor. So Rainforest Connection has enlisted the help of students. Through the project's partnership with Google, they've run workshops in American schools that teach students how to make a guardian, a small piece of technology that monitors and record sound. It's basically a solar-powered phone that's connected to a network. It can alert the authorities when it senses sounds of illegal activity, detecting sounds like gunshots, chainsaws, voices and sound waves generated by certain animal species. Plus, they can be stationed about 25 kilometres from a cell tower. It uses Google's TensorFlow platform to store and integrate data into the cloud. On Earth Day, April 22, the students will be able to download an app and listen to a live stream of the sounds being recorded. Have you ever wondered why or how our knuckles crack or whether it actually causes us harm? Scientists from French engineering school Ecole Polytechnique created a new mathematical model to study the cracking sounds. According to their research, fluid in between the knuckle joints reduces friction between them. But when they're stretched quickly, the pressure drop creates gas bubbles. They found that when the bubbles expand to a certain point, they either collapse completely or slightly, which generates that delightful sound. All the scientists have to do now is prove their findings in an experiment. Plus, it's good news for those who do enjoy a bit of knuckle cracking from time to time. Smart cities are about to harness the power of AI technology to improve security. A smart city is a town that invests time, effort and money into using technology to create an efficient, high-quality, sustainable and low-cost living environment. However, they have the potential to become even greater and safer with the help of AI. You can compare the way a city works to the way our bodies function. There are so many factors that play out to ensure everything runs smoothly. Our brains constantly receive feedback from the nervous system and our bodies ward off potential threats by using its immune system. Smart cities have digital sensors placed in bins, street lamps and other physical objects that are connected to the internet and shared data. But they're not being used as a source of feedback that can help protect our smart cities. If they were, every smart city would have somewhat of an immune system and would be able to detect signs of impending disaster, like a collapsing road or an overheating power plant. This means authorities could deal with problems sooner and prevent future disasters. Imagine that. And that's what's in news this week. Thanks very much, Claire. Well, isn't that interesting, David? I mean, the world of AI is just so expansive. The impact it's having is incredible globally. And think of how machine learning plays into this as well. You know, like as the machine understands what 
information it's, it's been given, what then can happen as a result? I think, I think what we can find is that we're going to get information that we don't even know we're looking for yet. Mm, mm. And I think then that opens up a whole myriad of different possibilities that don't yet exist as well. And and think about also the business opportunities that come with that and, mm. and that sort of thing. So, you know, protection of our people, it could be around, you know, habits of, of waste and, and litter and, you know, will certain bins be collecting certain rubbish that we didn't know that, you know, and that was based on the fact that there's a particular shop just nearby or something like that mm. and how can we improve the quality of our life for our citizens? It's so powerful. Mm. Yeah, well, you know, Adelaide where we do this show is a uh, smart city and, you know, I, you know, it makes you think that we're really, or we've, you know, we've taken on that title it's really just the tip of the iceberg, isn't it? Uh, completely. And it's not just about parking and, and things like that. I mean, you know, some of these new street light poles that are coming out that uh, that are called smart poles, I mean, understanding that each one of those are connected to the internet and that, you know, it, it senses when somebody's walking towards the light, you know, at night and therefore the light shines brighter so that there's a, a you know, an easier way for people to walk through the, the city. I mean, in, in America, in Columbus, Ohio, they're putting in these smart poles that have actually got PowerPoints and speakers in them so that buskers can just go plug in. And, wow. uh, and, you know, they just stand at the street light pole. They don't have to take an amp anymore. So this is all about things that, that can also impact just the culture of a city and the way a city feels. Absolutely fantastic. Really exciting stuff. It's David Grice and Troy Sincock. And on the next In Show podcast, we're revisiting an interview that we did on episode five of the In Show. And we're taking a look at how far Ashley Manuel has come with his uh, organisation Growing With Gratitude. Yeah, look, I loved that interview because Growing With Gratitude it's all about helping kids to generate or, or develop the attitudes of gratefulness and kindness and all of those kinds of things. And look, I know some incredible things have happened for Ashley since we last spoke to him. So I just can't wait to hear what he's, you know, he's about to share with us. Yeah, so often we're, we're talking about technology and, uh, you know, this is like another form of kind of human technology, you know, but the way people think has enormous impact on, you know, how they live their life. It really does. And, and you know, the simple things that people can do, you know, it doesn't have to be about a piece of technology. I mean, the innovation around what you can do within your own self is something that is... Uh, it's, I, don't, I don't really think we think about that too much. No, I agree. Well, Growing With Gratitude is going global. We'll hear more about that on the next In Show podcast. The In Show News. Subscribe to the In Show podcast on iTunes. A Dave and the Beanstalk production. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzcastNetwork.com for details.